Welcome to PC Wits Kids Tech Talk. Today I wanted to talk about the Sunbeam Tech Core Contact Freezer. It's part of my reviews on building a performance gaming PC. Now if we look at this unique looking cooler, it's got a tower design. It's straightforward. 50 fins going across from top to bottom and 4 heat pipes going through it in a U-shaped all the way through those fins. We've got these 8mm uh, copper heat pipes comes with the nice little clips that attach to your bracket on your motherboard of course and uh, it even comes with a 120 millimeter fan and the thermal paste so the kit is a very complete kit and if whether you're using an AMD or an Intel motherboard uh, it supports that it supports all kinds of processors as we're gonna see right now and um, on my motherboard here that I'm using I didn't have to actually uh, do anything on the motherboard it just already had the bracket that is compatible with the contact freezer so I just had to just uh, put some thermal paste on there and then attach it it was very very easy so when you put the uh, thermal grease that it came included just put in a piece size or double it put two two of these uh, and then just spread it around a little bit and once you put two of those and you spread it around enough because of the unique shape of the copper heat pipes you want to make sure that it's touching right so you just put a little bit more don't overdo it right it'll it'll press and disperse itself as you uh, put the uh, the cooler down but um, we just want to make sure that it's touching properly right so once you set that down and then attach the clips on one end so the shorter the shorter clip goes on one side and then and then the longer clip goes on the other that thing just snaps right in there and it's not going in anywhere that's tight so the next thing is to figure out okay do we want the air to go out the top here this way or maybe we can have the air going the other way at the top of my case here so it comes with a 120 millimeter fan that is uh, said to be uh, uh, a rating of uh, 50,000 hours so that's like about six years that that fan would be lasting for so this is like a high quality fan we're talking about here goes from a thousand to two thousand rpm very low noise actually very smooth uh, in this case I'm gonna put the fan on the opposite side so I just switched the uh, the case around here on the other side so you can see and um, I'm going to have the air going through the fins here and then out the other side and then out the top of the case because I have a 140 millimeter fan at the top that's actually sucking and blowing air out of the case. So it works out fine in my scenario here to have it blowing that way. You don't want to have the fan blowing towards your video card, that's for sure. Okay, so make sure that whenever you install these your fan, the orientation that you're doing it in the right way. Now it also comes, of course, with the... Um, uh, thermal regulator for the uh, for the for the uh, CPU fan. Of course, we want to be able to to control uh, how much RPM we're applying. So this little bracket here, this controller for for the fan, the RPM, will will be able to um, turn that all the way up to 2,000 RPM, for example. So uh, as as the heat uh, rises, we can increase that. And let's take a look at that, right, with some benchmarks. So um, I'm running here the uh, core temp tool and uh, the ASUS probe tool and you can see I've got the fan here the CPU fan that I just attached on low that's 1100 rpm and the idle temperature is about 40 41 depends on how long and what what I'm doing it's idling fairly low at 40 to 43 something like that um, and that's on the low setting okay if I um, now start turning the uh, fan RPM all the way up to max so that's about 2000 RPM on that fan you're gonna look at the uh, CPU um, uh, temperature there it's going down okay so it went down actually all the way to 37 degrees Celsius idle okay roughly so you can see the load there on the, on the top side so uh, this is a very effective cooler and the fan is really helping to make the temperature go down on idle to 37 degrees Celsius. Now I also ran Prime 95 and I had full 100% load on this running and of course the fan was at uh, 2000 RPM and at 100% load um, it actually reached up to about 50 degrees Celsius. Okay, So that was great. Nowhere near um, the uh, max temperature uh, uh, suggested by AMD for, for the CPU that I have which is the Phenom 9950. So this is a great um, a cooler. Uh, the package is definitely complete. It has all the items that you would need, plus the fan is great. So um, we're talking about a, a, an awesome little kit here, 
and I would definitely recommend that you, you try this out if you're uh, overclocking. So I'd like to thank Sunbeam Tech for providing this and I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.